Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another PO Box opening video. Um, I haven't actually been writing letters the last month so I wasn't expecting to get anything in the mail um, and I haven't bought anything online lately or anything like that so I was so surprised when these packages arrived. Um, so I got three lovely letters that came in the mail as well as one from my mother that she sent to my home address so I can only show you the bottom of it. <laughs> um, so I thought I would do a little mini P.O. Box opening video because there's just the three and also I was going to do a little haul for you um, because I went to the Pulp Creative Paper and I made a video showing you around this store. It's one of my favourite stores in Sydney. It's a stationary store and I've got an entire haul for you afterwards. Um, again, it's just a little mini haul. That's why I've combined this video with half um, P.O. Box opening and also half haul and I absolutely love the products that they have so I'm so excited to start opening up all my products from that shop. Um, first we'll open the mail that I got this month and then I'll jump straight into the haul so let's get started. So the first one is from my mum and it was sent again to my home address so I'm not going to show you the front address. It's actually Mother's Day so thank you mum you've been giving me presents instead of the other way around. Um, but I thought it was so cute because she's been collecting all the stamps that she's got off um, all the letters that have come to her home and she sent them all down for me. So thank you mum. I really do appreciate it. Some of these are really really gorgeous. This next one here is from Michelle from the United States and I think this envelope is absolutely gorgeous and I love the United um, States the um, stamps here. I just think they're so, um, so cool. So I've already chopped the top off. Um, there was a whole bunch of things inside of here. So I'll pop that one to the side. And we've got, I think this one's the letter, so I'll pop that up there so you can't see it. Um, maybe I'll flip this over. Oh, look, there's so much inside. What's this? I mean, this is a really big mail tag. Oh my goodness, that's huge. <laughs> All right, I'll fill that one out. But as I mentioned, I'm not accepting any more pen pals and I haven't been writing letters lately, so I am sorry to anyone who is waiting for a reply from me. Um, I just wanted to put that out there. So, let me... So we, first we have this tea here. Sorry, it's not in focus. First we have this tea here, and it looks like a very interesting flavour. So I don't know if I'm going to like this one, but I, I always love trying new tea. So thank you so much for sending that. Um, I think I saw a baby picture here, so I'm just going to quickly flip that one out. We've also got these memo pads. And she's actually made like a little pouch. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a pouch made of this um, music paper. There's so many goodies inside. Oh my goodness, it just keeps going. <laughs> And then some memo pads on the top there. We've also got some colourful paper. Oh, there was teas inside of this one. Okay, sorry, they must have all fallen out. So it says, some sample teas for you. And these are really interesting flavours. Oh my goodness, I've never even heard of this one. So this one's pumpkin spice and I've never heard of the brand before. So I'm so excited to try that one. Oh, and this one's brand new to me as well. Really good collection. I think another one also fell out that I think I already drank. So <laughs> thank you so much for those teas. And what is it? All oh, these goodies. This looks really exciting. All right. So we've got some very colorful paper. We've got some stickers. Some more bits of colorful paper. Those are those life cards. We've got lots of little bits and pieces that I can scrapbook with. And then I think there's... Okay, we'll go through the stickers first. Very, very colourful stickers here. Oh, it's a Mickey Mouse! <laughs> oh, we'll stick him back on. And then we've got some washi tape samples. So we've got the Minions, some Unicorn, Florals, some Glitter and some Gold. Thank you. And then we've got these bits and pieces here. And I think this is a napkin. But it looks like a unicorn napkin. <laughs> oh, that was just rainbows. Oh, thank you so much. That's so lovely. So we've got the nice big letter. We've got the big mail tag. A whole bunch of teas. And a whole bunch of goodies as well. So thank you so much. I can't wait to start using all these goodies. I really appreciate you sending it to me. This next one is from Naomi from the United States. And I love her mail art. This is so beautiful, this wax seal here. And I love the uses of all the pinks. 
um, collaging around the envelope and this sticker girl's so cute I'm gonna be cutting her out and reusing her so I'm just going to admit it now, I've already had a sneak peek inside. When I cut over the packaging, I was like, ooh, what's in here and what's in here? And I was having a look around and I saw there was a Totoro bag. Oh my goodness. And I was like, I have to open this. So I've already opened it and I was so excited. Look, I've wanted one of these for so long. It's a Totoro rubber stamp and I can stamp Totoro everywhere now with these little cute umbrella. I thought that was just the most adorable thing in the world. Thank you so much. I really, 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 really love this. And you'll probably see Totoro stamped everywhere now. <laughs> and the bag is so adorable too. I saw these when I was in Japan and I was nearly running out of stationary funds. So I didn't grab it, but I'm so, I'm so glad I have one now. I really appreciate it. <gasps> it's the milk. Girl. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. I haven't I haven't seen anything else, just the Totoro, so this is all very new to me. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Um, I think she's called Peko. I've heard it like a million times and I keep forgetting. So this is Let's see if I can get that in focus for you. So it is a milky pan. Um, and I'm pretty sure her name's Peko. Um, and there's all the refills here as well, which is fantastic. Thank you so much. I've actually never seen these before and I'm probably going to keep the packaging. Not going to lie. <laughs> That's so adorable. Thank you so much for that. I can't wait to use that. We also have a washi tape and this one is gorgeous. It's the night sky and it's just got these beautiful pastel colors that just matches my aesthetic perfectly. I'll pop it out for you. Oh, I think I could have popped it out the top. Ugh. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. You guys are getting really good at just knowing my style perfectly. Can you guys see that or should I do a closer up? Yeah, let me just, <gasps> sorry anyone who doesn't like me ripping things. This, it's not sticky on the bottom. I'm not actually sure what this is. Oh, I think it's double, I think you peel it off. I think it's double-sided tape. I don't know. Let me do a close-up though, because I know that you're, everything's out of focus right now. Can you see that? I hope you can see that well. But it's this gorgeous, it's like a gorgeous galaxy print with all these beautiful silver stars all over it. Thank you so much and I'll have to figure out how to work out this washi tape because there's a bit of stick there but I think you might have to peel it off. I'm not sure but it feels like it's going to be a tape that you peel but oh maybe you have to just pour water on it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Thank you. I love that. And now we've got this pocket full of goodies. Um, <gasps> look how cute. It's all tied up so nicely. Oh my goodness, it says happy birthday on this. When did I receive this? This must have been sent before my birthday. Oh, thank you so much. These are birthday gifts. <laughs> I love these. Are these Kiki K? Yeah, these are Kiki K tags. Oh, this package is just adorable. Thank you so much. I'm going to put that in my journal. <gasps> A nice big sticker. This little one says, for you, and it's wrapped in Kiki K prints. <gasps> this is gorgeous, these washi tapes. Look at them. Oh, I love these. Oh, I want to know where you got this one from. This is beautiful. It has like a green kind of tinge to it, that one. Vintage birds, and I think that's just ticket, like ticket stub um, design. Oh. <gasps> some doilies. Oh, and it says happy birthday on it. Look, I'll show you a close up because it's just gorgeous. Happy birthday to me. Oh my god, have she, I think she's made this. <gasps> it looks handmade because I think that's a card. This is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. You're so creative. We have some more goodies. This is like exactly my style. <laughs> Oops, I don't know how. To open this, I think I might open it here and here so I don't break anything. 
because I want to reuse this. Okay, let's move this all aside. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a whole bunch of beautiful stickers, which I'm not going to open fully up. And then another little package that I'm sorry I'm going to have to rip. And I think these are more goodies inside of here. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're going to be seeing Totoro stamps everywhere and I love my birthday gifts. Thank you. So this one here is actually from South Africa. Um, there was no name on the back. So I'm hoping that the name's going to be um, Bianca. Oops, that's the letter so I won't open that. There's also a lot of get to know me. I'm just going to double check. I think there might be prints inside of this one. Uh, so there's lots of writing about her. Um, so I'm not going to open that up in case there's anything that she wants to keep private. Oh, there's a little Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> What's in here? Okay, this one says surprises. Oh, lots of goodies in here. Oh my goodness, it keeps going. I love your use of um, using magazines. The front was decorated in beautiful magazine prints and this was wrapped up in magazine prints. I really like that. It's a good way of reusing. So we've got some cutouts, things that I can journal with. A beautiful cutout of these owls. I've actually been watching a lot of Harry Potter lately, so <laughs> that reminds me of Harry Potter. Um, oh, this is cute. I might use that in my journaling. I really like the pink aesthetic. And oh, we've got a Christmas card that I can keep for Christmas time. Two beautiful envelopes. And, oh, three beautiful envelopes. Some envelopes, some goodies that are cutouts. And then we've got this beautiful Christmas card and also our entire flip book about herself. So thank you so much. I can't wait to read this and get to know you. Um, and thank you so much for sending me a letter. Alrighty, so now we're into the stationery haul. So all this stuff I got from Pulp Creative Paper. And this is their little, um, what do you call it? Um, logo. <laughs> um, so I'll have the website in the description box below. You guys check it out. It's really well categorized on the website if you want to find anything. But I'll run through these and I'll name the artists as well. But the website is really easy to go through and find these bits and pieces. So I'll just link the website. You should also check out their Instagram because I love following them on Instagram to find all the latest products that they have. But they have the most beautiful curated shop and I absolutely love it. And I'll link also the video that I made about the shop. So I actually did a little shop tour and I'll link that as well. I also did a haul in that video, I'm pretty sure as well. So let's get started. So I bought two books. I also bought a whole bunch of envelopes and I got these like little pulp creative um, packs. So I'll sh open those up ones up last. And then I also got, so there's a brand that I specifically went in there to find. And it's this Life is Circus brand. And I absolutely love that they've stocked this artist. You should go check them out on Instagram as well. Um, but they make the most quirky, unique things. And these postcards, I just absolutely love. So they were $1.95 each. And they're just so quirky. And this one here is my favourite. <laughs> it's this little, I'm good milk. <laughs> It's so cute. It's a little milk, um, like a carton of milkman. I love him. These are going on my wall behind my desk. So I love these postcards so much. This one's just a little sticker. Um, I also got a whole bunch of these envelopes. These were, I think, 50 cents each. Oh no, these were 10 cents each, I'm pretty sure, because they only cost 50 cents for the whole lot. So they're all exactly the same. They're just nice, thick craft um, envelopes. These, on the other hand, these were a dollar each because these are handmade and they're made out of um, piano paper. So you can see all the little holes. It's nice and see through there. I love these. These are going my journal. I bought some last time. Because I made a video and I had a chat with the lovely lady behind the counter, she gave me this tote bag for free and I haven't even opened it up yet because it was all nicely rolled. Oh, yes. I thought it would have the, the design on the front. Thank you so much. I will be using this plenty of times 
and I love the shop so thank you so much for giving this to me I really really appreciate it if you're watching this <laughs> and next are these two journals oh this one's just the business card and I am on love with these so these are both by the I don't know if it's Life is Circus is the brand or if the brand Circus Boy Band I'll double check that but I will have the link to the artist in the description box below so these two are by the same artist so I'll open this one up first I may need some scissors to open this or oh, can I just rip it <gasps> I haven't opened this up so this is so exciting for me let me bring the camera down okay that's a lot better to see it's actually a coloring in book there was one open in the store so I did know what I was buying when I bought it it's just so unique I love the artists designs and I actually wanted to color these in as like a relaxing thing to do in the afternoon or I was going to send them out and cut out a few pages for some pen pals because I thought this little guy is so cute I'll do a little flip through I don't know I just love it and I love collecting unique things so this is going in my collection I don't know if I can actually rip out a page because I really don't want to wreck this book and I don't even know if I want to color it in <laughs> no I should at least color it in but I just love those prints so um, the next one is a collage book of daily life travel I'll do a little bit of a close up because it's all so beautifully designed um, and this book cost $18 um, I'm gonna have to move the camera because it's a bit bigger than the last book and I want the whole thing to fit in the screen so this one is gorgeous and you guys know how much I love to collage and this is the reason why I got the book I probably won't be using this as like a planner I'll most likely be using this as a collage book but on this page there is a image of something that they've collected so I want to use this as my book of random things that I collect because I collect a lot of random things and I just thought it's so unique and it's so different and I contemplated getting it but I just thought that it's so beautiful these images and there's just some really random ones like this one here this one here the little Lego man and I just love it so much you guys know that I love lots of random things especially if I haven't seen them in any other store before I usually like to buy it in case I never see it again so what I'm gonna do in this book is I'm going to probably take a lot of Polaroids and I'm probably just gonna stick down a whole bunch of random Polaroids and things that I collect into this book is completely full is that a page that's not got something on it oh no <laughs> down in that corner um, so yeah I'm gonna use this oh this is an empty page oh no unless all the rest of the pages are empty yay so this end part I can put lots and lots of random bits of paper like ticket stubs of m movies Polaroids of travel the places that I travel to um, and I'm just gonna fill this book with things that I find throughout my daily life basically and my travels <laughs> as the book suggests so these two I absolutely love 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 I just think they're so unique and awesome and so well designed so I would highly recommend those two and then the next are these paper packs which I love a good paper pack they've actually got envelopes on the back so this one was $15 I haven't even opened it up yet so I'm not 100% sure what's inside Ooh. so these ones are just plain envelopes they're quite sturdy which is good I don't really like this purple one here I probably won't use that okay let's see what's inside um, so We've got some beautiful papers, we've got a star, we've got a random sticker, a random cut of um, ribbon. I don't like this one, I probably won't use it, it's not really my style. But maybe if I've got like 
um, a card that I can make for a kid and that might be useful. <gasps> this one's pretty. This one feels like handmade paper. I love this one. So there's all beautiful bits of paper in it. Ooh, this one's nice. I love that one too. Oh, and then these are just plain, plain cards. So I'll fold these ones up. I'll design on them. And then they fit perfectly inside of these envelopes. So that's what's in that pack. I'm not, I'm not loving these prints. Um, I probably picked a wrong pack because you can't really see what's inside. But I just thought I really wanted something with all these beautiful cards so I can make my own cards. Probably not loving these because they're all like a mystery sort of pack. But the bigger ones I do love. And this is the bigger one and I already know that I love this print here so I'm already happy with this one. And this one is gorgeous. I'm actually regretting getting that other pack but oh well I reckon I can do a lot with those papers. Ooh this one's so exciting. Oh no it all got stuck. No it all stuck. Okay. Ooh this is so exciting. Okay so I've got this beautiful paper here. Again I love that one. These ones look like handmade ones. Some random circles. Which I'm sure I can definitely using my journaling. Oh, these little memo pads. I love that. I'll do a little close-up for you so you can actually see it. Focus. It's not going to focus, is it? It's just got a little bird on there. Triangle. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty cool. Little skull. Some papers. Um... This is beautiful. I definitely can use that. That's the same one. This is a large version of the small um, one, how it, it's handmade. If you can hear vibrating right now, my phone's going off. I'll call Dan back later. Um, this is interesting. Oh, I really wish you guys could feel through camera. But it's like a, a velvety feeling. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm definitely making an envelope with this. This is like a see-through um, um, paper. I can't remember what the name of it is because my brain's going a bit numb because I need to eat food. <laughs> oh, there's so many textures in here. I'm just loving this. Some more botanical beautiful paper. And again, the same botanical paper. I absolutely love this pack. This pack is gorgeous. Everything inside was just beautiful. Um, I'm pretty sure that I will use all the cards from the other pack because the other pack had all these cards that you fold in half. Um, but not so much the papers just because they're not really my style. A few of these are. Like I love this one. Definitely can use that one. Not really my style. Not really my style. Love, love, love. So these ones I'll probably give away to snail in the snail mail packages so I can definitely reuse them I'm not going to get rid of them but I'll most likely give these ones away but all of these pages papers are just gorgeous so just to clarify so I've got these beautiful books these beautiful papers again these postcards that I'm in love with some gorgeous cards I mean envelopes sorry and then these homemade envelopes and then a tote bag. So those are all the goodies I got from Pulp Creative. But let me get this so you can remember the name of it. Focus. Pulp Creative Paper. I will put the link in the description box below. Let me just do a little zoom out for you. That wasn't very far, but thanks for watching this video today. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.